bagels always from New York City. It's the only way to get a real bagel pull like you're seeing here because that, my friends, is New York City water, kettle boiled, and of course, a five-step process that has made Just Bagels a favorite brand here at QVC. In fact, Customer Choice Food, Customer Choice food Award winner for favorite food item of all of our food items right here in our store. Now, today we are bringing you the return of something that actually sold out back in December, and we have it for you for the very first time since. Now, you can get 24 bagels, all of them plain, 24 bagels, but by the way, they're anything but plain. They're loaded with great flavor. 24 uh, bagels of their everything, which is a proprietary blend of seed and salt and That's poppy seeds. Favorite. It's fantastic, oh right? Gosh, fantastic. Love that. And then you can get 24 of the sesame, which is if you're a New Yorker like me, mm. like you grew up always having a sesame bagel at least once a week, <laughs> or you can get a combo, which is what you're seeing on the table here, where you get 12 sesame, I mean, I'm sorry, 12 plain, six sesame, six everything. Now, you can get these uh, not only just one time, you can lock this price in on auto delivery, get it every 90 days for a full year, and I would say that's a smart thing to do because this did sell out back in December and it's just back for the very first time. Five payments of $8 on a credit card, free shipping and handling, and as I said, it is the actual New York experience. You know, I was born and raised in Manhattan. I grew up on bagels. One of the very first things that my mother ever ever put in my mouth while I was a kid and teething was a bagel. <laughs> that is a good teething ring. Oh yeah, no, no, I for like real. It. <laughs> um, because she knew she knew that it was soft enough for me, if I ate it, big deal, right? It was a good thing. Um, and it was it was something that made me really happy. Now, Cliff Nordquist, uh, he is the founder of this brand and one of our dear friends, and we love having him here on the show. Cliff, welcome on in. It's great Hi, to Cliff. see you. Alberti, how are you? Hi, Jane. How, how you are doing? you? Good. We're great. Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Great to see you guys. So, Cliff, for anybody that's wondering, right? Like, wait, what makes a New York City bagel? Well. First and foremost, if it's just bagels, it's coming from the Bronx. The Bronx. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and you know what it is, Alberti. It's the five steps. And you know, we're back to the original today, right? This is the original. This is the original. So we it starts with the New York water, okay, from the Catskills, the best water in the world. And then it's ingredients like malt and molasses, unbleached, unbrominated flour, nothing artificial. Uh, just the best ingredients. And then we age that dough, like you see in that walk-in box right there, for like 10 to 12 hours, which brings it all together, the crust, the chew, the flavor. Then we boil it, of course, in the New York water. And then we bake it at 500 degrees in a hearth steel-plated oven, bringing the whole thing together with the shine, the crust, the chew, the flavor, all five steps, just bagels. The only bagel we sell at QVC it is your vote for the best food item, period. And you know what? I agree with you. You can have a bagel for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. You can have them as a snack. You can have them as a dessert. Turn it into a pizza. Or you can do the traditional right over here, right? Cream cheese. Oh, absolutely. Plain bagel. And there you go. The pull that everybody absolutely loves. Because if it doesn't have this pull, do you know what it is? It's just bread, mm -hmm. right? It's bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not. This is a bagel. Look at the skin on the outside, right? That's from your boiling. Now, I want to let everyone know what's going on, Cliff, really quickly. Um, the flavors, I know everybody knows these flavors, right? Mm -hmm. Plain. You can get all 24 in plain. Everything. You can get all 24 in everything. Sesame, you can get all 24 in the sesame. But if you want the combo, that's the most popular. You get 12 plain six everything, six sesame, and everybody in the family is super, super happy. Now we have 1,500 left in that combo, and then who knows, right? It could be sold out for another three, four months. $8 on a credit card, M63330. Now everybody knows what plain is, but Cliff, your bagels are anything but plain. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, they're anything but original also. You know, a plain bagel is Basically, you just your typical kind of boring bagel, but ours with the aging and the malt and the molasses and just the ingredients. You know, uh, a lot of people tell me they don't really get full when they eat this bagel. They don't get bloated. Uh, they have them every single day. I have so many people that call in 
and, and just that they're eating them every single day just because they've never really quite had a bagel with a flavor like this that left you feeling pretty good about eating a bagel. Oh, yeah, and they're, they're very light, right? They're light and airy, and they're super delicious. Okay, so let's talk about the everything, because the everything, your seed blend. I've had plenty of everything bagels in my life, but none quite like yours. Yeah, I love the everything bagel I, I, as well as you do, Alberti. It's the, you know, it's the, the poppy, the sesame, the onion, the garlic, the salt. But it's not, anybody can put that on. It's the percentages mm -hmm. that we came up with after, you know, plenty of trial and error just to get that exact right percentages down for the flavor where it's not overwhelming with one particular flavor it just it just goes down the palate mm -hmm. so nice and i love the everything bagel that's why we had to add the seed mix also but that's another uh, issue but yeah it's my favorite bagel and when you you take it home you know please put it in the freezer because you know these yep. bagels have to be frozen that's right and you know bake them off uh thaw them out for 30 minutes bake them off for five to eight minutes in a convection oven or an oven at 450 degrees and you got yourself a real New York bagel. And there's the sesame. That's my favorite one to use for a hamburger. You know, instead of like a regular old hamburger bun or like a great ham sandwich, I love the sesame for a ham sandwich. Okay, here's what's going on. I want to give you an update. This is just back in stock since it sold out back in December. Today we have it for you. If you just want 24 plain, I have 250 remaining. If you want 24 in the everything, I have 450 remaining. And if you want tw uh, 24 sesame, I have 100 left. Now, if you want this exact assortment that you're seeing here, 12 plain, six everything, six sesame, well, that's our combo. And I have fewer than 1,300 remaining to go around. And remember, you can lock this in on our delivery. There's over 325 five-star reviews at qvc.com. There's nothing artificial in these bagels, right, Cliff? Not at all, and it's not easy to do that either because most bagels are filled with things like, you know, stuff to make them last for 30 days on a shelf. These aren't gonna do that. That's why when you get these home, you know, we bake them fresh. So we bake them tomorrow, we deliver them tomorrow. You get them one to two days later, you must freeze them. We are delivering them to mm. you fresh. You must freeze them. And this, Alberti, is where we started. This is where it all began. I don't think there's a better combination than this, right? This is your real classics. This is the authentics, right? Okay, so listen, stay on the lines for this. Cliff, it's always great to see you, my friend. Thanks so much for stopping by our show. Thank you, and guys. And for bringing us the originals back. All right, so listen. You got it. You get either 24 everything, 24 plain, 24 sesame, or you get 12 plain, with six everything and six sesame in the combo. Pick them up before they're gone, and 63330 is your item number for that. Hey, we've got another great baker coming up in our show. Jimmy the Baker is coming.